Hey, hi. In this video, I will show you how to use PyTest framework to build Azure Infrastructure Test Suite. So here, as you see in this PPT, this PPT depicts my demo. Here, we're going to use two modules. One is PyTest framework and the other one is, you know, we use Azure SDKs in Python. So the combination of these two modules, you know, we're going to build a test suite that can be used for Azure Infrastructure Testing. Remember that this is something like a unique idea that is being, um, you know, the designed are carved out based on the experience that I have here. So now we will see how we can construct that here. So uh, if you see at the diagram here, so we have a developers who actually works on Azure infrastructure, which could be using Terraform or ARM, or it could be using the CLIs or even it can be SDKs based infrastructure provisioning. Now, once the infrastructure has been provisioned uh, with using the CICD pipeline as infrastructure as a code, you need to have a certain modules or certain uh, test frameworks, which actually does the validation level, um, you know, the testing framework. So that is something, you know, it's been built here. So that a source code will be kept in the GitHub repository. Um, so the developers would be developing those test cases required for Azure infrastructure testing. We're going to use the GitHub actions to actually compile those test cases dynamically. And under the hood, you know, we're going to use the Azure SDKs in Python, which can interact with the Azure APIs, get the required response and uh, validate the response data and uh, utilize the PyTest frameworks, which actually governs or basically helps you to um, build the required test case validations, right? So under the hood, you know, so you are actually validating your test cases, like whether the test case is passed or failed based on certain situations, right? All right, so we will show you like how we can do this uh, from scratch to end, right? And then finally, we will show you the demo at the end. So as you see here, this is my um, GitHub repository where I have created this uh, framework as a suit here. You can always use this repository and try to mimic from your uh, environment side. I'm going to share this GitHub repositories link in the video's description. You can find it from there. So here, uh, so I have cloned this repository in my VS code. And from there, we will see how I have, you know, designed this solution. So you can ignore the AWS test cases. Basically, um, you know, I have also used the same framework for AWS infrastructure testing. And that has been, um, you know, I have recorded a, a, an independent video for that particular lab session. You can watch my another video where I have explained like how you can use the same for AWS infrastructure. In this video, we will focus on Azure's right. So henceforth, you focus on Azure uh, folders, right? So here I have uh, created a two folders called uh, Azure test cases and Azure test executions. As the folder name says, Azure test cases and uh, test executions. So first one, Azure test cases is the folder where you're going to write the uh, test cases of your infrastructure. And uh, Azure test execution is the folder which comprises of Python script, which actually compiles or basically runs those test cases and gives a result. Right. And then we have created an independent workflow for it. Uh, uh, that is PyTest Azure workflow. Uh, so this workflow is, is actually compiles these two files and generates the infrastructure uh, test cases result, whether it is passed or not. And this is really very fast and can be used for enterprise grade. In fact, you know, this is this idea is been already been used by one of the enterprise, you know, where I have already worked. Now, uh, what I do is, you know, I'm going to walk you through this uh, basically quickly. So first, let's go to the uh, inside the folder and try to see how I know this has been architect. You know, this has been architected and developed as well. Now here um, we have the folder that is Azure test cases. So in each folder, we have to keep a blank init underscore underscore init underscore underscore dot py file and then the other files that you have kept is basically is the file comprises of test cases and you can actually write multiple files containing test cases belongs to certain categories in the sense you can group the test cases per files and file is reserved for one kind of test cases here we are actually doing a very simple infrastructure test cases that is just to check if the resource group is created or not check if the storage account is being created or not with a certain naming convention and all right so this is very bare minimum test cases we are doing it here now resource group is is a different context and storage account is a different context 
So that's the reason we have created a file with the name like Azure underscore RG underscore test. Make sure to give the file name uh, which is in a particular naming pattern which actually makes you enterprise standard as well. And then name of the file also should tell the developers that you know this file comprises the test cases for certain infrastructure. Right, so here is the RG. So if you go inside this particular file, so these test cases file contains the Python code which is contains only Python functions and each function here is acting as a test cases. Right, so here uh, the test case is to check if the RG exists. So the function name became Azure underscore check underscore if underscore RG if exists. So if you remove the underscore and just read it, check if RG exists, right? So that's the test cases. Now this is the function which uses uh, resource group client and the resource group name. So I just wanted to check whether the a resource group with a certain naming convention exists in my subscription or not. So that is the reason, you know, we are passing this parameter. I'm going to show you like you know, how this file will be used in the text executions after that. So here we are using the Azure given or basically Microsoft Azure given Python SDKs to interact with the Azure services. So here we are using the resource client, getting the resource uh, group and then checking whether the resource group is named is, you know, as expected or not. If it is expected, you know, we are giving returning true or false. Remember that a function that returns true or false is basically can do anything. All right. And here, this is where, you know, we are actually using one functionality of the PyTest that is just an assert. Assert is a kind of a function which actually validates whether the input is equal to output like that. Yeah. All right. So the next one is basically, um, you know, so similarly, we have written for um, a storage account test cases. So this is again, if you see here, so the test case is basically a function name. It, it talks about like check if the storage account exists or not. And then this function is being, uh, you know, has a parameters that is contains the storage client, resource group and the account name, storage account name. Here again, we are using the storage client and getting the properties of the storage account. And then, you know, so basically it's, it's returns true or false. If the account name is equal to what we are actually seeking for is equal, right? Then it actually returns true. In fact, it will return true. Uh, for example, if that storage account is not there, it will go inside the exception and it will return false, which means test case is failed. Right. So this is how we write the test cases. And this is how you can segregate the, uh, you know, the, or you can write a multiple Python files according to your segregations. And uh, this folder can contain n number of PyTest cases. The more the files, more the execution time it is. And if I go to the executions file, so this is an execution. So this is basically considered like, you know, you have written a test cases. Now you need to orchestrate those, compile those and get the result in a summary right so this is where we have uh, as you see this folder it contains in it uh, right so this is again it contains an empty init.py file and then uh, so now here you have one uh, you know the mapping file against your test cases groups right so here we have a test cases uh, group per files for example rg test cases now you can i would suggest you to write test rg which means that you know it will test one group of test cases right so that's the reason we have written two files which actually compiles the one group of our test cases written in the test cases folder and this is basically an execution folder so if you see here so again so this is file which actually does the you know real time uh, you know the uh, this is the file which actually looks like a real time python script which actually does the, which, which actually does uses the uh, microsoft azure sdks of python and interacts with the API and, and you know, it actually orchestrates. Remember that here we are using the assert functions, right? So assert function is basically, um, it's, it's basically a PyTest framework. I will, we'll just go through this particular file. So if you see here, we are actually importing these, uh, you know, the Python modules. So it includes, uh, you know, the CLI credentials because we are using the dynamic credentials of CLI, which I will show you how I did that. And then we have a resource management client as well. Right, because this is file belongs to RG, so that's the reason I'm I'm using the resource management client. Similarly, uh, so if I open parallelly the other file that is storage account file, here we are here we are using a storage account client file. Now let me quickly walk you through the the previous file itself that is RG file, and here we are dynamically creating. Here we are 
statically storing the variables of subscriptions and resource group name which I wanted to test here and then if you see here we are actually importing the the modules here so the module is so go inside this Azure test cases get the file name called um, RG test in that one import this particular functions like that or you can always uh, you know just uh, stick with uh, the uh, you know the uh, import just import complete file functions you can also do that but in this case I did explicitly right and then um, so if you see here um, again right so we are actually um, elevating the existing CLI credentials by using this particular um, function that is Azure CLI credentials with using these credentials and passing the subscription ID you can create a client so here client is RG that is resource client and that client is being passed to this particular function so this function is nothing but which is the function which has which I walked you through this you know as part of this file explanation and then we are using the assert so this is where the magic happens assert is in nothing but it's a built-in functionality of PyTest uh, which actually uh, you know records what does this uh, call has has written and matches with what is expected and uh, makes it true or false if it matches to the expected it marks it, it as a true if it does not matches then it will mark it as a fail very simple in order test cases compilations right with using the pi test cases similarly this is for uh, you know the storage account validation we do the same thing validated against the resources so, so basically this is how you know we actually are uh, basically i actually designed the you know the azure infrastructure uh, test suite framework by just using the you know the freely available modules pytest which is publicly freely available module and then you know the aw basically the azure microsoft azure provided uh, you know the sdks which provides you know which is basically also free by combination of these two we you know we have built the azure infrastructure uh, you know the uh, testing frameworks which is very fast efficient enough to you know to fulfill the high level enterprise companies as well so this is basically you know one of the you know uh, basically first in industry idea it has been used by one of the you know the major enterprise company as well where i have already worked so this one um, i will just uh, focus here so basically if you see here so this is the you know the github action workflow which is actually compiles these two uh, you know these two folders which means that it actually executes the test cases according to the test case execution definitions so this is very simple github action workflow it comprises the names uh, and uh, we have made it as a workflow dispatch permissions it's read write why permissions read write because i'm using uh, the oidc connect method to authenticate with the azure subscription so oidc authentication is basically a federated access to your azure subscription which is safe secure and safest i can say as of now because this is purely credentialless and you are actually authorizing to only particular repository only right so how to configure that oidc uh, enablement for your spn on the azure subscription you can watch my another video uh, where i have explained around the oidc concept of azure federated access management uh, so right now we will you know quickly walk ahead actually so here we have a uh, built the job which actually compiles those test cases uh, run on ubuntu latest it will check out those right so we are now i will quickly walk you through the steps and then we are installing the python 3.11 which is latest version and then we are installing the modules remember that so here we are using multiple modules let me open the requirement.txt file which actually contains the module names that we are using we are using pytest uh, frameworks which includes um, uh, you know which includes these uh, github repository pytest right code coverage so i'm not using these two i will just uh, remove it off I use PyTest, I use PyTest, uh, you know, the GitHub repository. And then we have the Azure Management Storage Resource Group and Azure Identity Modules from, from Microsoft. All right, so this is what, you know, the, uh, the modules will be installed as part of this task. And uh, this is where, you know, we are using the AGCLI login, which is basically federated based login. If you see here, I'm passing, I'm using SPN, by the way. I'm using Microsoft Entry ID SPN or app. Uh, uh, you know the application um, ID which is generally called as an SPN and that SPN has a client ID tenant ID and the subscription so subscription is the subscription where that SPN has been given an access which I will show you in a time so this is the only information that you write it in the github repository while these information that is client ID tenant ID subscription ID you can store it as, as a secret 
and those secrets are being read from the repository and used here that's all basically this is the only method you use it to authenticate your subscription with using spn and then if i'm just running certain agcl like command just to validate whether uh, it has set the context properly or not right and then so that's that's all basically so once the context is set then you know you are good to go ahead and run the test cases so in the test case executions i said we are using azure um, you know python sdks right so that python sdk will you reuse the credentials set in the context of uh, you know this particular um, github runner right and then it you it it actually runs the test cases here so the test cases uh, if you see here so how does that, that you know test cases are getting compiled is basically um, you know this particular task this task you know it runs the it actually does the cd to this particular path that is azure test cases and it just say like pytest you enter pytest with these parameters that's all basically you know it actually if you see here we are passing the azure test cases so we are not only just doing a cd to this particular path uh, so and be, being within that path uh, we are running the pytest uh, command with these parameters that is coverage equal to azure test cases and coverage report in the xml which actually generates a nice uh, view of uh, test case executions uh, in in the you know in the github actions itself yeah all right so that is how you know this github action workflow file is been written and this is much is very simple okay so let me uh, commit this particular change which we did so i will call it as a demo change and then i will commit this to uh, to the upstream basically so i will sync it to the upstream uh, upstream is nothing but you know this is where it, it will sync it here all right so now it is been synced here if you see here now before i run this particular github actions i would like to show you some the pre configurations that i did it on the on the my azure subscription so this is my azure subscriptions uh, i will go to the microsoft enter id here and then we go to the manage inside this we have the app registration so in this one i have an spn ca created called test spn reku and then um, so here in the if you go to the secrets certificate and secrets in this one we have uh, created a federated configurations so this is the federated configuration which i did it here so if you see here so this is points to the uh, my my repository that is cloud quick labs pytest branch name is main and then you know so then it automatically identifies the issue that is github actions github user context and that's all so basically with this configurations you know so your spn is now equipped to be authorized from the github actions remember that federated access is only supported from github actions only now this spn is been given an access uh, to the subscriptions okay so now if i go to the my subscriptions and if i go to the my um, you know so if i go to the my subscriptions here let me go to the subscriptions and then on that subscription i know i have given the uh, contributor access to that particular uh, spn so if i go to the role assignments so the spn which i am using as a federated so this has been given as a owner access so yeah this is an this is trusted one and uh, i have a full control on this spn so that's the reason it is owner access has been given but in your case you can give it as a reader access because in pytest cases you do only reader access all right so now i will go ahead and try to um, you know do the demo of the particular pytest cases so remember that inside the github actions uh, you know workflow so we have a dedicated workflow called azure infra test suit so we're going to invoke that now if i go to the github actions here now we can uh, try to invoke so remember that before i go to this uh, you know run this uh, uh, you know the test cases or this uh, uh, test case execution pipeline uh, let me show you the infrastructure that we are testing so if i go to the rg here um, go to the resource group so if i go to the resource group that is uh, basically a demo rg so this is what we are testing so in this demo rg i have a two resource one is storage account the other one is azure open ai service instance we are just checking whether this resource group is exist and this uh, particular storage account exists so if i go back to the code here and uh, go to the uh, test case executions in the storage account so i i am giving the you know the parameters so if we go to the particular so i'm giving the part parameter that is um, uh, storage account name and resource group name so i'm just checking whether those are exist or not so our test case has to pass 100 percent let's see if that happens by running this particular uh, workflow i will go to this particular workflow pipeline and call that on a main remember that you need to call it on a same branch what that you have configured in the oidc credentials 
If you want to know understand the big deeper understanding of this OIDC configurations, please do watch my previous video where I have explained on this one from scratch to end. Now I will I have run this particular uh, you know the workflow file which is running. Let's have a real watch here. So if you see here, it's currently installing the modules that we have requested in the request that uh, uh, you know the txt file. Uh, so before that you know it has checked out the code uh, you know it is currently doing the agcli login with using the federated access it has logged in and the run command it has done so basically what does that mean is basically if you see here so there is an error so why does that error happen is basically uh, you know i have removed the uh, you know the um, certain modules right so that model is supposed to be there so that's the reason it is throwing there let me um, you know the let me uh, revert those changes back and we will again rerun here so i will do that quickly so this is basically updated so you can actually ignore this particular file you know particular change so i did it uh, you know desperately deliberately because to avoid the errors and to to do a certain changes as well so let me um, let me rerun it if you see here right so what is that it is complaining is is basically it says that so uh, it says that you know basically uh, you know there is pytest options in the sense that in the pytest option it is looking for certain uh, you know the checks and which is actually failing right so now i made the changes back in the sense we reverted the change back and we go to the particular uh, pipeline again and rerun it again so basically in the previous run it got failed actually so right now again i'm rerunning it so that uh, we will see the uh, you know the the, uh, the the basically the executions as expected here right Okay, so as you see here, I rerun it again in the sense after making this, um, um, you know, the unwanted change, I reverted that unwanted change and re rerun the pipeline. So pipeline went, went really good. If you see that AGCLA login went good, uh, run AG command, uh, you know, task has went good and then run Azure test suit has actually went good. And if you see that there are green circles and uh, it says that both the test cases got passed. If you see the logs of this particular, uh, you know, the task, it says that I know the the test cases that is written in this particular function is passed and that is in the file test rg.pi file similarly in the test azure storage account uh, test storage account.pi file is also passed in total we had a two test cases that got passed and everything is checked out now if you go back to this uh, particular workflow and uh, look from the top view you will get a nice uh, you know the presentation here in the form of a graphical visualization so if you see here so this is kind of a table test report will be generated by this uh, you know the github actions which can tell you that you know this workflow has uh, you know the deployed the changes with uh, all test case got passed or some test case, test case got failed right so anyways so this repository link will be shared and um, this is highly tested and it is highly recommend for enterprise grade uses as well all right so finally uh, you know uh, let me um, thank you for watching my videos and a kind request please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot with that note thank you thanks a lot and see you in the next video